Hello everyone, this is John Braun with Hitman Advertising. Google AdWords. Yes, cleaners almost always, if they do it the right way, get a really good return on Google AdWords. Why? Because all you need to do is spend a little bit of money and then you're ranking very well in the search engines for people that are looking for your particular service. Now, the drawback is there is a learning curve and you do have to do things the right way and you do have to keep up with all the changes. Well, guess what? Google AdWords changed again somewhat significantly and we need to go over that and show you some of those changes. But I also want to give you five tips on how to write better Google AdWords ads. So, before we get into it, I want to go ahead and kind of go over the new platform. If you haven't seen this, I've actually upgraded or clicked over to the uh, trial version of this where this is the new platform. It doesn't look all that different, yet it's a little bit different. You can, If you've used the other platform, you can get to know this very easily. It's very similar. That's not really the big deal, and that's not really the big change. The big change is clicking over and actually looking at one of the ads. And here I've got two different versions of the old ad versus new ad. And the old ad is right here. If you notice, this is the ad that's paused. It only had one headline and just a little bit of text in a description. Well, now you can actually have two headlines and a lot more text in the description. Plus, you can put a lot more in your domain name, your pseudo domain name, if you will, or the web link. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't have to be the actual link to the site. And we'll talk a little bit about that more in just a minute and how to even get better response simply from this be domain name because this is ad space essentially and this is a thing that kind of shows up on there so this is important that you log into your Google AdWords campaign and do this type of stuff and fill this out so what are some of the things that you should put in here well here's one example of an ad where we talk about a guarantee and then we also talk about a coupon this is a very good thing to put inside of the ad but the main thing is is use all the space so let's go over the five tips that I'm going to give you for writing a better Google AdWords ad. Well, first of all, make sure that you use your main keyword somewhere in the headline, either here or somewhere in one of these headlines. You want to use most, if not all, of your main keywords. And for a carpet cleaning company, your keywords are going to be carpet cleaning your city name. For a maid service, your keyword is going to be maid service, your city name. For a window washing company, it's going to be window washing or window cleaning in your city name. But make sure most, if not all, of those keywords are there or something like that inside of the headlines. Second, use power words to evoke a response like the word sale, special, free, you, that's a very power, powerful word, discover, and your city name. Believe it or not, even putting your city name inside of the headline can be a very powerful thing. Now, the thing is, in this particular case, it doesn't always have to be the city name. It can be the location of town. In my city, Olive Road is a very long road, and it's a very sort of popular part of town, but that's where my shop is located. People that know Olive Road usually know where my shop is at. That's where we have my, I have my rug cleaning shop. And so therefore, that is an attractive thing for the people there. Now, here's the other kind of the way we design this particular ad is it only shows up for people that are near the Olive Road zip code. So it means more to the people that are getting on there. So in this case, I'm not using just the city name, but I'm using the locality even better of that particular side of town. Because where would somebody rather use a carpet cleaner? Just somewhere in the city or a carpet cleaner in your neighborhood? Well, it's a carpet cleaner in your neighborhood. So either use a city or some type of a locality is a very good uh, power word that you can actually use to attract attention and get a better response. Omit needless words. The thing to understand with AdWords is you steal, even though now you have a little bit more space, you still don't have that much space. So sometimes the grammar isn't going to be the best. Sometimes you're going to put abbreviations, maybe not your whole city, but a popular abbreviation of your city. Maybe um, you're going to really kind of maybe use crunchy, weird grammar, but make sure it makes sense. It still has to be readable. But omit any word that's even remotely not necessarily Try not to use the word we, if possible, and try to admit any words that aren't necessary to have inside of the ad. Think about targeting a niche instead of everybody. So, for instance, for carpet cleaning, 
instead of targeting only an ad for carpet cleaning in your city name, maybe target an ad, and I'm not sure that I've got a specific example here. I'll show you another one in a second, but maybe targeting an ad that is for only pet owners, even though that ad might go for the keywords of carpet cleaning in your city name, your particular ad may only target pet stain removal, maybe have a special offer for pet stain removal, that type of thing. But think about going that route and niching down. Maybe if you're doing area rug cleaning, here's something that works really, really well. Instead of just doing an ad for area rug cleaning, do an ad for oriental rug cleaning or Persian rug cleaning, a specific ad specifically targeting those people that have a specific type of rug. And in your ad, talk about that particular type of rug and the fact that you are an expert in that type of an area. Another thing that sometimes works really, really well in pay-per-click is ask questions. Things like, and things that are obvious questions, not just questions, but things that are obvious questions that, that they're looking for. So in other words, if somebody's typing in pet removal or pet odor removal your city, maybe your headline for that answer for that ad should be need pet odors gone. Maybe if they're looking for tile and grout cleaning, maybe that headline should be ugly grout lines, question mark. Something that obviously the answer is yes, but something that has very much to do with the keywords that they searched in for. So this is a little guide that I've actually given out um, to my ad club members with some ad examples. I think I've got a few dozen different ad examples for Google AdWords that we've done that has really, really good for us with a few other tips and a few examples. Now, the big thing is, is make sure you fill out the ad entirely. Use all the space. You're paying for the space, you may as well use it. But let me talk a little bit and just give you guys a couple more tips about what to do and some examples of the ads here. So I mentioned the actual domain name. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and put the domain name of the real website that I'm on, and then we're gonna use one of the extensions, Northeast Pensacola, because this is targeting that side of Pensacola, and we're also gonna use the extension for a coupon, leading people to believe that when they click this link, they're gonna to go to that coupon. Well, guess what, they, they do. It does go directly to that coupon. So you always want to, whatever you talk about in the ad, you wanna deliver upon that exact same thing when they click on the ad. Don't talk about a coupon if they're going to click on it and not go directly to a page with a coupon. Don't make them click somewhere else to go to the coupon. They need to go to the coupon as soon as they click on the ad. In this case, this is for a back-to-school cleaning special, and this actually le led to, I think, a blog post where we talked about a back-to-school cleaning special. And the domain name we have the website, back to school, and carpet cleaning. So when somebody clicks that, they're going to thinking, and they are, not just, we're not pulling the wool over their eyes, they're really going to go to a page that talks about the back to school carpet cleaning special and the $95 free gift, the free bonus that they're going to get when they call us. Here's an area rug cleaning ad. This is a service-based ad. It's only specifically for area rug cleaning. The keywords on here might even largely be associated with wool rug cleaning and silk rug cleaning, Persian rug cleaning, that type of thing. Well, the domain name, this leads to my area rug cleaning page. The domain name talks about area rug cleaning in Pensacola. Again, the things that they specifically are looking for in that search complements the whole thing. We also talk about our guarantee and we give a coupon. And of course, the coupon is mentioned on that page that they go to. So these are just some examples of some of the things that you can be doing in your AdWords ads. And of course, leak detection, water damage restoration. Here's one of the ones that we talk about for pet stain removal. But we have this entire guide with dozens of different ad examples and a complete training series inside of the Ad Club as well. If you're interested in having me personally get in and either audit your Google AdWords campaign or even set your Google AdWords campaign up for you, I can do that. Send me an email or a message and I'll give you a cost or contact my office so we can give you a cost on what that would take to do. Let me know a little bit about what you're wanting done. But make sure whatever you do, you get into your Google AdWords campaign right away and use this stuff. Don't forget to add to your Google AdWords campaign because if you don't, you're really wasting money. Your, your competitors now have bigger ads than you do and they've got the opportunity to say more attractive things. If you're not getting in and adding to this, then you are losing out. So make sure that you do that. And if you need any help with your AdWords ads, I'm here for you. Just let me know.